<laughs> Hello. Hey, there they are. Now look at this beautiful, beautiful couple. Uh, are you guys sharing the earbuds again, or do you? Yeah. Your own? This yeah, is I great. So that. their topic is surviving your spouse, which I have always thought it would be a great thing to work with my wife full time. That's probably because I haven't done it and I don't know about the challenges. And that's what you guys, so you, I'm sure there are other husband and wife couples in lawn care, but you guys are probably one of the most uh, prevalent on YouTube. I'm not sure about the other social medias if there are others, but do you guys, I, I don't always watch your videos all the way through. Do you talk? I know very clearly Rachel's the boss <laughs> and Carl, you do whatever she says, but do you guys ever talk about the issues that you might have in those videos or is it something you kind of. Oh, I mean, um, honestly, it, it really is even though we're husband and wife, you know, working with your spouse is very similar to working with an employee. Um, you know, you, you just have to learn how to keep the, the family stuff at home and the business stuff at business. So, um, it's fun. Yeah. I, so I don't really think that we have any issues. You guys see us. That is who we are. Um, yeah, we don't really do a whole lot of editing where we take out like where, where I'm yelling at him. <laughs> she doesn't yell at you. I mean, don't don't let her. Maybe sometimes. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can see me all the whole thing in there now. I'm muted. I was trying to talk to you and you was muting. That's oh. funny though. You're both like, wait, is there something wrong with it? <laughs> I'm gonna go run and get some water real quick and I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Sounds uh -huh. great. Okay, perfect. Hey, Gentry. There's a couple people. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. It's hot in here. Brad left us. I know. And the boss wants me to go work in the rain. Yeah, it's very yucky out today, but um, I don't know. We'll catch up, though. You guys know how it is. Spring rush, and, you know, you just do what you have to do. Get it done, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, Happy. How long have you been in business? 2010, we started in August, August 5th, kind of like in the middle of the summer. It was probably the worst time to start a lawn care, but we did it anyway. Yeah, people thought we were crazy. We moved um, over 700 miles away from home, and we started our business like end of the season. Um, so we are very blessed. And now. I think that first year we picked up 22 accounts mm -hmm. just doing Craigslist and flyers. Now we're to the point where we're not really doing much, but just the website. It's yeah. Social media is a big advertisement and then just doing really well on the clients that you have and quality of work. It stands yeah. out if you're very, um, pay attention to everything and you do stuff really nice. You don't really have to worry about advertising as much. Your name spreads. Uh, we've been in business eight years and we don't have anything on our vehicle or anything that shows who we are. No, we actually were <laughs> going to get a wrap on the truck this year and um, decided that we don't need it. We're, we're going to wait. <laughs> yeah. We've branded our name enough that people know who we are. We're taking it slow. We yeah. want to make sure that we, do everything as efficient as we can to make up time, like when we buy a new mower for the boss. So that should be fun putting on YouTube. Yeah. She's never mowed with a stander, so no. That ought to be fun. We'll the put we'll put you on our best looking yard for the first time. Oh, oh great. Okay. And we'll see if the mower can mow stripes. So y'all guys can laugh at me when I'm going crooked. <laughs> and it's not gonna be a little one. We're gonna get you a fifty two. Hopefully everybody can hear us and Huh. Everything's fine. So that was a great presentation by Fence Armor. Yes, and Jason. Every, we I think we've watched them all so far. Yeah. Shane. Yeah. Or Seamus. What's, what's his name again? Okay. So I apologize for that. I had built in some breaks, but, you know, we had issues that ate them all up. So... I, I forgot about bathroom breaks and water refill breaks and uh, this is the, this is the stuff you learn doing this for the first time, right? Yeah, yeah, and hey, it's not it's going 
<laughs> just <choice>. fine. <laughs> so, it's going yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, uh, kind of fine. I was like, okay, it is fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every year okay, it'll so, get better. Yeah. Sir? Every year it'll get better. There you go. I like it. We're saying there is going to be a next year. That's <laughs> optimistic. All right. So did you guys start working together? How long have you been in business first? How long have you guys been running Since 2010, your we've been in business. She was mostly doing all the office stuff, calling people and all that. And then when our last kid started school, she figured she could come out full time in the field and help, which is last year. She did it towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, huge benefit. I see a huge benefit on it. The only, the only downfall I see is maybe we'll try to pick up a little too much work having both of us out there when we should just back it off a little bit. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have a hard time saying no. <laughs> but we have <laughs> Especially to. I mean, when clients call us and say, oh, so-and-so referred us or, um, you know. And we're not ready to hire. I'm not ready to get into that part of the business. We, no, we probably should have hired a couple years ago. Um, but now you know, that I'm able to be back out and or out in the field. It and really we're going to buy her a new mower. So we'll see Very what happens. Nice. There. <laughs> Being the boss has its perks. Yeah. Yes. It'll be a huge benefit. Um, just because we picked up them six acres of property, two properties that are six acres and we need her to be out there too. We have another YouTuber that helps us lawn commander every week mowing that six acres. So, and he's that's, been a that's big, a lot of grass to cut. Yeah, it, it is. But it's, it, it took us about five hours the other day to do it, but we had a couple issues and, you know, just two mowers on the property and spring we grass, it, spring so. grass for some reason is so much harder to mow than, yeah. <laughs> than in the middle of the summer. And now you're seen. getting into the point where estimates you go to, it hasn't been mowed and there, we did one today and the grass in the back was over a foot tall and it's crazy. Those are the ones you love to, to cut, right? Yeah. No, As I he like rolls his eyes, yeah. Where I only got to cut a third of the grass off. There's no mesh. You don't have to double cut. Um, where we are here, it's just so hard. It's We get a lot of rain usually, so the fescue grows. So I tend to find myself even weekly lawns, double cut in every lawn. Um, takes a little longer, but we like to put that quality detail into it because it shows. I mean, when you're in there, you get the neighbors that come up to you and say the lawn looks beautiful. Can you do my yard? So... But that's the thing. You got to have good quality. And then her helping me is a big benefit, though, this year. I will say that's one benefit to being in Florida is that clippings just kind of disintegrate and d disappear after like a day and a half in the sun. Yeah, the so grass that's one thing that we don't have to worry about. But yeah, yeah different areas have completely different grass. Um, but, you know, that is it is one of the pros for both of us to be out there is that uh, it just seems like we're more approachable now than we have been in the past you know i always put to each business. other or you mean as a business as, as a, a business. business so like two that makes two sense. owners yeah. out there two two of us are detailed because not you can't you're not going to find every employee is going to look at every little thing on the lawn everything in the flower beds pick up little things here and there but when you have two owners out there doing it mm -hmm. we're more attention to detail and i know i'm not going to have her out there forever if we get an employee eventually, I'd be afraid she'd go and want to be back in the office. But <laughs> would you? Do you think you would, Rachel? Um, she wants to I, do a nursery. Wait, well, like, are you still doing the office stuff in addition to being out? Yes. yes. Oh wow, yes. you are well, the boss then. You're running. <laughs> you're doing the behind the scenes and the work. And yeah. she's working, so I'd say yes. she and she takes care of the kids too. too wow. So. She yeah, so that is one thing that I'm having to to learn myself this season and grow is just to um, learn how to give everything its time. You know, it it's hard to, you know, I'm doing office work at eleven o'clock at night, so that's not really shutting business off, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna lie, having she does most of most of the stuff to do at office. I don't I'm not computer computer savvy, so she does all that. She comes out in the field and deals with the kids and stuff like that too. So she does most of the hard work. Very cool. So and you said there was a how many years was it where you were doing the office stuff before you came out? In the field, seven yeah. years now. Yeah, and then so, she finally came out. Do you feel like having that seven years under your belt helped you guys uh, transition to having 
Rachel out in the field a little bit better, like as opposed to just starting with the business from day one or something? Yeah, yeah. I she's like in the past she's been helping me off and on do mulch jobs and stuff. And now, yeah, it was a lot easier having her out there doing that. It, it, it's a big benefit. I mean, I love it. I don't know though, honestly, if I ever would have if it would have prepared me. I mean, um, I had my office work down. I had everything scheduled and spring rush is the worst because you have clients calling you at all different times emailing at all different times so it's difficult to find that balance you know between office and um being out in the field yeah um, every everything you see now before i had her out there i did solo all by myself like i think mm -hmm. one year i was running 76 accounts by myself that's and crazy. it's just it's a lot of work i mean and now we're doing more of the mulching and mowing so we're kind of just you know trying not to take on a whole bunch more mowing right now we want to get more into the landscaping part of it and, and keep mowing still but you know over time that's why we tell people over time just slowly do it, it takes time and you won't have them big pitfalls if you take it slow when you're doing it mm -hmm. versus you know trying to pick up a hundred accounts in one year and throwing it all in and trying to do all that yeah, and I'm still in a learning process mm -hmm. going out in the field, you know, um, where, and that is one of our cons maybe, you know, because we're both stubborn, we're husband and wife, <laughs> um, you know, he'll tell me to prune a rose bush. Like down to about a foot and a half and she, it's still five foot <laughs> tall. Oh, I just wanted to clip off the, the tips of it. I said, no, you got to cut that thing all the way down. So, um you know, so I'm still in that learning aspect of it, but you know, maybe being on the business side of it and him always relaying that information to me for years, like when I put details into clients' quotes and stuff, you know, I'm saying to them, um, we edge the beds or, you know, this is the fertilizer that's going down at this point. So I do know a little bit of it, but it's still and I, and so much information. I got to say having her, she goes out and does estimates with me to learn all that stuff and having her out there helping mm -hmm. beside me, like I'll think of a price that we want to do a yard and then she'll double check it. And if she thinks it should be a little higher then she puts her input in, it's been, it's, it's beneficial <laughs> and the clients love it. They love talking to Rachel. She's uh. so sweet on the phone. They tell me, <laughs> So it's awesome working with her. Well, good. That's always that's much better than the alternative of it not being good to work. And with I mean, we we've, we've also been together twenty two years now too. So I mean, we pretty much get along pretty good. So no, I my big advice is um, if it doesn't break you, it will make you stronger. Yeah. So you know, you just it's finding that balance and communication is absolutely a key. Yes to making things work. Well, in earlier you said that one of the one of the ways that, you know, this dynamic works is that you keep work and family separate. Like how I mean it may just be second nature now and you don't even know how you do it, but like are there when you say that are there you know, are you driving in the car and there's a topic that comes up and one of you's just like uh maybe when we get home after we're done or like what does that entail when you talk about keeping it separate? Um, it is difficult, you know, because there has been times where, you know, family situations or whatever are going on and we are discussing it in the car while we're working. Um, I, I think it's very rare, but, you know, yes, there has been times where we're like, okay, we're just done with this conversation right now and put it on the back burner. We have a job that needs to get done and it needs to get done right. So, And, and the way we do it too is like, when we're working, there's a time we got to be back for the kids to get off the bus. So I'll drop her off and at four, she's dealing with the kids on until I come home. I'll go back out around the house because we have service area that's further away from the house. I'll put stuff so after four, I can go and do some of that. What, what I'm hoping is with her helping me full time this year and us just not taking on a whole swamp load of accounts that eventually we could get it to where we're not working Saturdays, um, but we do have the all when we come home, we 
turn it off for a little while, deal with all the kids stuff. And then we have the kids in bed by eight o'clock every night. So, mm -hmm. and we're not going to lie during the spring rush. It's, you know, we're in our beds doing work. <laughs> um, but it's and just, the we explain but you're right, it's been so many years that we've been doing this, um, that it just, everything has fallen into place now, I think. Um, so it does, it works itself out. And we taught, we tell the kids that, you know, during springtime, we're busy, busy, busy. You get to slow down all through the summer because of droughts and stuff. So we have a lot more time to go hiking and doing things. And then our vacation is in the winter. It's a horrible time to take vacation. But <laughs> I mean, in this business, you really, that's all you can do is if you want to take we'll a week long. come to Florida to visit you. Yeah. <laughs> you got to just pack your sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's too hot down there. Very hot. I think I went in April and it was 68 degrees and I was too hot. <laughs> yeah, then you don't want to stick around for the summertime. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you guys do it down there with that heat. I, I, I don't, I couldn't be out in yeah, the 100 degree credit, weather all the time. Sure. Well, it helps that, you know, full disclosure, I only mow a couple of days a week. So I don't do this full time. That helps a lot. <laughs> right, right. And then hats well, and lots of water. Eventually, maybe you'll be doing it full time. That'll be maybe, good. yeah. Once the kids are older, for sure. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you this. I know you've been doing it a while and you got down pat. If somebody is entertaining the idea of working with their significant other, do you remember or can you remember uh, was there maybe one or two things that did cause issue without, you know, bearing too much information to the public? Was there anything that kind of stuck out as uh, this was a big hang up and until we learned to do this, it got better or, you know, anything like that? Like I said, I don't want you bearing your souls to the world or anything. But. No, I, I do think that the biggest thing um, probably in the beginning was that Carl was working very long hours by himself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so even though I was handling all the business aspect of it, um, you know, as a small business, just him and I um, not being able to hire an employee, he was a lot of times, as, especially during spring rush, working seven to dark. Um, so, you know, that definitely um, was something that we had to get used to. Uh, the other thing is not having the right equipment. We, yes, that was our big thing. We mm -hmm. we always got into it about, you know, and when you start, when we started off, it was all with residential stuff. And, you know, you want to expand, but we, in our situation, we didn't have the money to expand. Like when we started the business, we started with pretty much absolutely nothing. And there were times where we wanted, I wanted to quit. I'd come home and say, you know, I'm done with this. It's, it's just too much. But we mm -hmm. kept doing it and kept going. And then, over time, we've slowly gotten better equipment and it just gets better and better. Biggest thing is stick to it. And, yes. you know, if you're working with your spouse, you guys got to work together. I know you're going to bud heads once in a while, get into it once in a while, but you just got to try your hardest to, at the end of the day, put that off to the side and start the next day over again. And honestly, like I said before, you know, working with your spouse and working with just a regular employee um, I think is still very similar, you know, uh, at least with your spouse, you know, their little, you know, um, maybe habits that they have or he loves to listen to talk radio. I don't <laughs> like to listen to talk radio, <laughs> but do you understand, you know, so you just have to work together, whether it's you're working with your spouse or with an employee um, and just stay motivated and know that eventually all that hard work you'll be able to sit back and it will pay off yes so very cool so it sounds like there is a little bit of a learning curve but if you can stick with it it's worth it mm -hmm. there's always a learning curve in any business that mm -hmm. you yeah. um you know you try to say sorry our, our dog <laughs> that's okay it looked like a cute one from the corner of the ear i saw <laughs> yeah it's a big pyrenees so <laughs> are um, the fluff are pyrenees fluffy ones Yes. A lot of hair. Yes. He is shedding lots now. Oh, dear. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's always that learning curve and just making that everything mesh into place, um, trial and errors. And now with YouTube and just all the 
the lawn care sites that are on um, Facebook, oh my gosh, the knowledge is out there that should make things yeah. a lot easier for anybody going into business now. When sure. we started, there was there was only a couple people that did it mm -hmm. um, back in the day that we watched. And like when you're trying to figure out prices in your area, you know, not many lawn care companies back then are willing to tell you, hey, this is what we're charging in the area, which it's hard because you don't want to be really low. You want to be kind of medium to up there. But I mean, if you're this community's helped a lot, we've I've even us doing it for eight years. There's things I've learned that we could do different that help us. I mean, yeah. you can't be stubborn and keep your own old ways. If there's a better way to do it, you have to always listen. Like if she has a better way to do something, even though I've been doing it for seven years out in the field, I got to listen to what she says and it might be a better way. Yeah. And she, she didn't just pay you to say that, right? That's how you want to sleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid. She gets it all. Very nice. Oh, she is the boss. I, I was going to say, there were a couple questions on chat. If you minded, if I asked you oh, that no, yeah. um, back when you were talking about adding, uh, you said another mower, was it your third mower or the second? It'll yeah. be our third. We have a 30 inch X mark that she used most of the time, mm -hmm. um, has transmission issues right now. So it's a lot harder for her to use on the Hills. And then we have the 48 inch Ferris and we were thinking about getting another 48 inch stander. Um, but I'm thinking about a 52 just because of the horsepower and that'll be for her to use. So I got to teach her how to, she used the aerator. So I have to teach her how to use the stand-on now, the uh, a stand on mower. And I've I've never used a stand on mower before. I've always had to walk behind. How are you gonna tell her how to use a stand on mower if you've never done it? She's gonna be telling you how to do it. <laughs> exactly. Probably I'll be learning from her because the controls for the 48 walk behind Ferris are totally different than the standards. You know, mm -hmm. the, the controls for a 48 walk behind, you're almost holding the mower like you're breaking the mower with the controls from it going and you let go of the controls for the speed. With the stander, you have to push it, and I think there's a bar, and that makes your speed, so. It's very similar to the aerator, and I have done the stand on We just gotta get her to so. most straight lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be tough. So um, is it real uh, flat or bumpy or like smooth hills where you guys are at? Or what's the... <laughs> we're mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're mountains. So. Some, of, some of the hills are slope like this that mm -hmm. I'm using the walk behind on. Mm -hmm. You know, we're now at the point in our business where we can be picky and not take as many like very obstacle yards with obstacles like hills that need to be weed eated and stuff like that and that's because of over time like you hear everybody say you weed out the ones from the bottom which we have a hard time doing too i mean we've had clients for seven years now that you know some of them they're a little further out than we want to be right now but they're just awesome clients and yeah. how do you get rid of them clients you know but eventually we're gonna have to yeah Sometimes it's hard to dissolve the bottom yeah. and expand the top, as they say. It is hard. So it was a 52-inch standoff fair, was the one yeah. you were looking at. For yeah. X mark, is that what you said, or fair, Ferris? Ferris, yeah, Ferris. he likes okay. Ferris. I'm a Ferris guy. I, I, I don't see myself mm -hmm. getting any other type of mower. I fell in love with that kind of mower like years back when we had gotten a demo and we we actually bought a Ferris at first and it was a bad design one for this area and Ferris actually gave us all refunded all our money back but while we were that one was getting worked on the shop we were at let us use a walk behind Ferris for almost three months of our business because they were fixing the other one and eventually they just gave us our money back and I always said when we get that mower, it took us three years after that to get that mower. And when we finally got it, I love it. So yeah. I don't think I'll go to any other one unless somebody let me demo and I tried it and seen something different. But it's like everybody has their own preference in the type of mower. A mower cuts the grass. I mean, as long as you maintain it, make sure the deck's clean underneath, it'll cut the grass nicely. Yeah. Yeah. If you make sure the blades are sharp at the end of the day, yeah. it just cuts grass. So. Yes, a couple times a week you got to sharpen them things. Yeah. And then uh, Lawn Care Solutions over on YouTube said that he enjoys the adventures of Happy's family. <laughs> we love we love Thank putting you. the videos out and love the interaction, talking to people. Uh, everybody on YouTube, the comments, they actually motivate us. It's just – it's changed 
lawn care, how we like in the past years, it's just been me out there doing it, Rachel doing the billing. Now we have a community that we interact with. The comments inspire us to go out there and do more makes i see some of these young kids that are, don't even have license that have these big companies and it's like you know we can do that yeah. one day you know anybody can do it if you put your head head in it and you just keep going i and wish you, what i know now i knew then <laughs> and, and listen <laughs> so it's not it. it's not going to be smooth all the time even us we're, we're uh doing pretty good right now but i always in the back of my mind it's like what what could go wrong i'm always thinking if the truck goes down it's our only only vehicle right now we would kind of be stuck you know we can't just go out and buy a new thirty thousand dollar truck right now so but we'll get there eventually that's when i'll feel comfortable you got a little breathing room in some of yeah. the what ifs right you know backup mowers are a big deal if you have one go down and you only have one mower you're kind of oh my goodness for the yeah. longest time i was push mowing 40 something accounts with the 30 inch X mark before we got the big mower. Mm -hmm. And some of these accounts were a little more than a half acre. So oh, man. what a freaking push mower. Well, at least you're getting a good but, workout. Yes. Um, <laughs> Keep us in before I had the wheels on the 48, I think some days I was walking behind that mower for 22 miles. Oh my At goodness. the end of the day, when I looked at my little uh, thing and everybody on YouTube's like, you got to get a Belky for that uh -huh. thing. To make and it does. It makes it so much faster. But we we were tight at the time. We didn't have the money. And thank goodness we had Lawn Commander gave us the Belky we have now. So oh man, that and was that awesome. out tremendously. So yeah. he's a good guy, Stacy. Yeah. yeah. David Flippin says, I don't know if that's his real name or not. Probably not. Happy <laughs> Family is one of my favorites on YouTube. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, yeah, thank you, that, David. I, it's all right. So, and then uh, Mikey's wanted to know, oh, D Gentry agrees that Lawn Commander is awesome. And Mikey's, this was back when you were talking about, Rachel, you being in the you know the office space, the backside of things. What software do you use in the back office and out of the field? Back okay. office and out of the field. I guess he means the same thing there. Yeah, so this is a great question because we've been in business for so many years. Um, we've used a lot of different programs. We originally first started with Lawn Pro, mm -hmm. um, which I think that they have even since changed and made even better than when we had it. Uh, I primarily do invoicing through PayPal just because our clients, you know, want that option to be able to to pay PayPal and not have to mail a check, but I still give that option of mailing in a payment. Um, and this year, well, last year and this year, we primarily used Yardbook. I, I definitely suggest everybody go check out Yardbook just because um, it's a free software and it's awesome. It really does a lot of... Um, now she does all the billing and estimating through all that. Now they have scheduling. I don't do, I'm old school with scheduling. I have my calendar book, write all the names of my clients. When we're done for the day, all the clients, I transfer them to the next week and write their names. Everything's in a book. That way something ever happens is computer. So, and that way at the, at, when I have my list, I have my clients, how many days, how many, when I schedule them out, seven days, I have a seven next to it. So I know exactly how many days every client has been at. Yeah. So it's going to be a little difficult this year because I think we're going to, normally we tell people nine to 12 day schedule and weekly, and we've had uh, probably 20 something weeklies this year. We have a lot more weeklies. So now we might have to take that nine to 10 to every 14 and have it on a consistent every week. The only problem is I don't like mowing grass when it's that tall. So I tend to tell people we want to do weeklies because the but grass Yardbook grows does, crazy. Yardbook does have a scheduling. Yes. App, but, um, yeah. So just a great program. So definitely check it out. And there's a paid version of Yardbook also. Tall grass makes for good long mowing videos, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, that's what I told her. She should pick up a couple of them ones of seven foot grass, <laughs> and I'll complain and cry about my Ferris going through it because I do not like taking my Ferris he through any, anything over eight <laughs> inches. Mm -hmm. I do not like to beat on my mowers, you know. And that's another good thing about having the boss out there and a the spouse working with you is we both take care of the equipment. You know, having an employee, they're not so worried about your equipment. They might run through grass that's like 12 inches tall and bog that mower down. Me, I'd, I'd hear that and 
probably run. <laughs> yeah, I just. Like, I'm gonna go get the string trimmer. It's okay, Ferris. <laughs> yeah. I I did That's one exactly. last last year in the beginning of the year. I had a friend call me. He had two acres and it hadn't been mowed in years. I went out there and it was about probably five feet tall <laughs> hay that was dead in the beginning of the uh -huh. season. And I went out there and started weed eating this whole two acres of field. <laughs> and eventually I said, you know what? I'm just taking the Ferris through it. And it, it made it, but I didn't, I don't like it. I think that, uh, that kills your mowers and your mowers, you need to last long, yeah. especially when you only have uh, one mower. Yeah. yeah you you want to be I remember on it if you can. I picked up a tall lawn that was wet as heck. And I, I said, this better turn into a weekly account. <laughs> did it? Taking my it mower. did. Oh, good. <laughs> Boss dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. Well, so we're pretty much at the end. Do you guys have anything uh, last minute that you think is important to cover? We didn't. And if people want to watch you, if they aren't already subscribed, they can do so at Happy. So we are, we are at Happy's Family. Mm -hmm. um, our Facebook name is Happy's Lawn Care Asheville, though. And um, our Instagram is Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. So do you do a lot on Instagram. Um, we try to post. It's something new this year. Like we try. I tend to kind of we get busy, and I can tend to kind of not post. But yeah, we'll get. We usually try to get stuff up here and there. Just another way to stay connected with you guys, though. Um, you know, and again, just. Mm -hmm. uh, learning from each other and um we would like to get into more landscaping so hardscaping 